Good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is such a beautiful day here in Miami. My name is Adriana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you new, welcome. Oh, that was a beautiful bird that just passed by. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself um, busy because since you know it's not recommended for us to be out because of the virus situation. So I'm just at home working in my garden, working on content, cleaning my house, cleaning closets out. I mean, I'm trying to stay as busy as possible. So gardening in containers has been a lot of fun for me. Uh, my experience has been really good. Um, I feel so blessed and thankful with God that every seed that I drop into the soil turns into a beautiful plant. So I have been experimenting with pretty much everything and i'm actually looking for a passion fruit so once this situation with the virus gets under control go back to the regular life i am going to go to whole foods or trader joe's or one of those stores and grab a organic passion fruit and i'm going to plant one of those to see if if that will grow in a container we'll see all right you guys so if you're going to work outdoors always remember sunscreen which i already applied it Remember, you always apply sunscreen 15 to 20 minutes before you go outdoors. Not when you get to your outdoor destination, to the beach or pool or the park. You do this before. Always remember to hydrate, drink a lot of water or have water nearby. Wear a hat, which is what I'm going to do right now. And sunglasses. I left my sunglasses um, inside. I'll grab it later. But always um, be protected from the sun. You guys know I'm an esthetician, so the sun is the biggest free radical that we have to age our skin. So a big secret to stay young and to fight the wrinkles is wear your daily sunscreen of FPF of 30 and above. You guys, sunscreen is really important for y'all to wear, especially if you suffer from acne like I do or hyperpigmentation that I suffer from that as well. If you guys could see my skin, I have a couple of freckles, but I have hyperpigmentation, which is a dark spots. And if you don't wear sunscreen, um, it, those spots will get dark. I'm always working on my spots. I'm always doing, you know, um, treatments on myself to control my hyperpigmentation and also my acne. And those who suffer from acne, when your acne flares up and then it goes back down, we're left behind with something that's called PIH, which is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which are the brown spots that you see on my face. So if you don't wear sunscreen, that will get worse. So please, 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 daily sunscreen, always. All right, let's get, let's get back to gardening in containers. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one. This one's gonna go to sea soon, meaning that the plan is, you know, it's done. But before that happens, because I can still use a lot of the leaves here for a salad. And this is going to be my salad for, for today's lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And I want to show you guys that lettuce is a shallow root. Meaning that you don't need a pot that's so deep. That's it. Alright, so when I pull each plant out, I always try to save as much soil as I, as I can. For those that want to um, start gardening, I really recommend shallow root plants. Lettuces are all shallow root plants and also strawberries. You could actually plant both lettuce and strawberries in the same bed. They get along just great. So as you can see, the, shallow, the roots are very shallow. It's amazing how a root that's so small and shallow produces this beautiful, healthy plant that feeds us. All right, so here you have it, and I'm gonna rinse it off and take it inside. And this is going to be my lettuce for today's lunch. Okay, so what you want to do is work the soil with your hands or a gardening tool. And you want to make sure that you work the soil very well before you transplant or place another plant in this area. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put a hole in here. I'm going to create the space for the other lettuce that I'm about to put in here. Which is 
this baby right here because it is not growing so I'm trying to save it so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out since it's a shallow root it comes out very easy that's it and then gently you transfer it over to its new home and then here it's going to be able to um, get some more sun because as you can see even the color it's not as green as the other lettuces but eventually it will become more green once it starts um, getting more sun now this particular lettuce actually it's not a dark green such as the romaine lettuce this lettuce is more like the loose leaf lettuce and if you see the different types of greens it doesn't mean that it doesn't have nutrients that's just how the plant is but here i can tell that this green is more on the pale side versus this one so eventually once it starts getting the sunlight it's gonna get back to being nice and healthy all right so let me show you guys what i actually did so i ended up moving the romaine lettuce that i had here which is this one and i placed it here and then this is the one that I moved from the other side, from over there. And I placed it right here so that that way it can get more sun because it really needs the sun right now. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab a couple of more um, leaves from the rest of the lettuces because it's good for the lettuce for you to harvest very frequently. And what I do here is I pinch it off from here. This is called the cut and grow again method. By doing this in a couple days, two weeks, you will have new lettuce leaves growing on your plant so that's what i'm gonna do right now I'll do it from this one i'm gonna let this one grow a little bit more i also moved the raised bed a little bit more towards the sun Lettuce do not like to be under the sun so much. They like to be partly shaded. So as you can see right here, it's partly shaded. And then right here, they're getting some sun. So as the sun moves, it's not just hitting directly at the lettuces. So right here is perfect because this is the little area where my baby lettuces are at. And this is the lettuces that need more sun right now. So this is perfect. All right, you guys, just a quick video. That I wanted to um, show you guys this morning. All right, y'all, I am done. I'm gonna go back inside. I'm gonna wash the lettuce and make a salad for lunch. You guys, please stay safe. Please stay inside your home. Like always, thank you for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon with more gardening and container videos. Bye, y'all.